Mom smashes glass over waitress's head after son was disrespected. The shocking moment an angry mother smashed a glass over a Red Lobster server's head was caught on video. Claiming the waitress disrespected her disabled son, the mom decided to make the other woman pay. But it's how the server handled it that's really garnering a lot of attention. Who's to blame for the Red Lobster rumble? Another violent brawl in a public place has been caught on camera. This time, patrons were trying to enjoy a meal at an undisclosed Red Lobster restaurant location when they received a front row seat to a royal rumble between an angry mom and her server. They might have come for the famous Cheddar Bay biscuits, but customers were about to get so much more with their seafood. In the clip, the server is heard swearing at a female diner who was apparently eating dinner with her son. According to Daily Mail, a family's Red Lobster meal turned into a violent brawl where a protective mother smashed a glass against a server's head, claiming that the waitress disrespected her disabled son. But did this mama bear go too far when she turned violent after an allegedly rude remark? As the video of the Red Lobster rumble begins, the unnamed diner yells, Come on! As a female server charges towards her, saying, You want to throw shit at me, you bitch? The customer puts her hands up to protect her face, but she continues to egg on the angry waitress, yelling, Come on! Come on! Before viewers can even grasp exactly what's going on, the server appears to grab the other woman's arms. The smaller woman then smashes a glass over the server's head. The glass shatters with an audible clatter as the other patrons at the seafood restaurant scream out in shock. Someone is even overheard shouting, What the hell? During the Red Lobster Rumble, the mother is adamant that the waitress disrespected her disabled son. Shockingly, the waitress takes the blow like a champ, not even flinching when the blunt object makes contact with her skull. Even though the glass hit her hard enough to shatter into countless pieces that spray across the restaurant, the server doesn't even wince, nor does she back down. Allegedly, the violent outburst was sparked by an unknown remark in which the diner alleges that the waitress disrespected her disabled son. At the end of the video, we do in fact see that the boy seems to have a disability as evidenced by his disrupted gait as he struggles to storm out of the restaurant behind his mother. After the shocking blow to the head, another waitress arrives and holds back the angry female server who eventually walks toward the kitchen calmly. But things aren't quite over. The enraged customer re-emerges, following the waitress and shouting that the server was disrespecting her disabled child. The waitress, however, vehemently denied doing anything of the sort. No, I didn't, she yells, as the distressed mother continues to charge towards her, shouting, Yes, you did! Yes, you did! Just before the video ends, it sounds like the mother's voice is cracking with exasperation as she beckons her son to follow her out of the restaurant. Come on, Aaron, she says. Her son obeys, appearing briefly in the clip with a noticeably disturbed gait, as the server curtly shouts, Yep, that's right, as the mother and son leave the restaurant. The shocking fight was later uploaded to the internet, where the Red Lobster Rumble immediately began to go viral. When the boy emerges following the Red Lobster Rumble, it's apparent that he has a disability that affects his gait. Sadly, these violent outbursts taking place in public restaurants are not uncommon. New restaurant rumbles and fast food brawls seemingly emerge every week. Is there ever a reason to take any frustration to this level? If the server said something insulting about the woman's son, wouldn't it be better to speak to a manager? It doesn't seem that reacting with physical violence does anything to solve the problem. If this server did disrespect the disabled boy, she likely isn't regretting it at all after how his mother acted. Instead, innocent people were sprayed with glass, their meal ruined because someone, supposedly, said something unkind that set off another person. I don't know about you, but when I'm paying good money for a meal, I don't want to find myself or my loved ones caught in the crosshairs of someone who can't control their temper whether that's the staff or another customer. It seems both ladies could have handled this situation a lot differently. And unless you or your loved one are physically threatened, violence doesn't offer a good solution.